let's take a look at our temperature control circuit. So we have our solid state relay here and our solid state relay has the supply from the controller 3 to 32 volts plus and minus and we have our 220 volt coming in and then going out to the heater on the main controller we'll see here that down here this is the black and red wire that goes to the solid state relay so we can watch the solid state relay do its job just by turning up the controller so let's turn it up above ambient temperature All right. and we'll see the number one light comes on and that shows us that it is outputting temperature and then we'll see that the red light came on. So when the red light's on you should be able to put a voltmeter across the output and read the power. Now if just because the red light is on doesn't mean power will be coming out of here if the safety relay has tripped. So you have to look at your temp your over temperature controller and we see that we're safe right now and when it is safe it closes this contact here are these two wires and that is the power to the coil on the safety relay so when the safety relay is closed the power comes in routes over to the solid state relay goes out the brown wire to the heaters and then returns back from the heaters on this brown wire and then back to the to the service so this has to be closed in order to be making heat even when the red light is on if that is open you don't get any heat so you can't really tell but we will we will turn this down and show an example of an over temp condition and perhaps if we listen very carefully we might be able to hear I heard it it clicked and so now we're saying that we have a limit high so it's saying limit high so you'll see that that the relay still has the red light can I get the red light there you go the red light is still on but we don't have any power coming out because we have tripped the over temp so we can go back here Let's turn this over temp back up. And it goes to safe, and I heard the relay pick up. So still, no change. We still have the red light, but now power is going to the heaters. And we can turn our heaters down. see the number one just went off no no power being called for there and here the red light went out so that's our power circuit and something we can look at here is the thermocouples so the probe inside the oven comes in on this top connector and the probe outside on the heaters is down on this lower connector that's for our cascade temperature control system and then the temperature is displayed on the front of the inside probe 205 and then it is retransmitted these two wires we retransmit the inside temperature over to the data logger so the data logger has the same two wires here on the retransmit is in channel number one so we'll see here that we have 20.5, 20.6, so we're within 0.1, pretty good retransmit. And then here, additionally, there's another thermocouple here into the overtemp device. And this thermocouple that goes to the overtemp, and this 
thermocouple that goes to the main controller, the two light brown wires. These are, these are together in the main probe inside the oven. So inside the oven on the uh, thermocouple there, there are two thermocouples inside that stainless steel sheath and they come down and they split into the overtemp and the main controller. So for some reason these two controllers are not reading the same within a few degrees tops then we can suspect that one of them is bad or we need to look back here and double check our connections here and here to see which one maybe is broken or fallen off and then we can also double check that this temperature and the retransmitted temperature are the same to make sure that it's um, this isn't in error maybe we've lost the wires on the back of the controller or on the back of the data logger this reading here is just the inside independent thermocouple and that's the one that's associated with the new over temperature alarm and we can see that on the schematic simply here we see that this is the data logger as a set of contacts that just makes the buzzer and the flashing red light go off if that temperature is over over temped